Hello and welcome. For this week's discussion, I've been thinking a lot about commanders being subordinate. And to refresh our minds, get us all moving in the right direction together, I want to read from Title 10 U.S. Code, Section 8583. In there it says, All commanding officers and others in authority are required to show in themselves a good example of virtue, honor, patriotism, and subordination. I think we can all understand and agree upon the first three requirements. Virtue, honor, patriotism. Yet, as Reed pointed out in this week's episode, subordination is an interesting idea when you think about a commander. It isn't something that you often think that a, a commander is, someone who is subordinate. They're the leader of the organization. They're the figurehead. They are the ones who decide what takes place. They are the commander. Even so, I think that in recent events, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Mark Milley, he provided an example that helps to demonstrate the idea of subordination in a commander. For context, on September 28th, just a few days ago, General Milley testified before Congress about the withdrawal from Afghanistan. When questioned by Senator Cotton, the senator asked General Milley why he didn't resign over the president's decision to not leave a small footprint there in Afghanistan. And the general replied, it would be an incredible act of political defiance for a commissioned officer to just resign because his advice was not taken. And then he continued to say, this country doesn't want generals figuring out what orders we're going to accept and do or not. That's not our job. Now, I'm not going to comment on whether General Milley should have resigned. I'm also not going to say anything about his relationship with President Biden, the former President Trump, the withdrawal from Afghanistan, or anything else. That's not the purpose of our discussion. Rather, I ask only that we consider his words as they relate specifically to the law, again, Title 10, U.S. Code, Section 8583, all commanding officers and others in authority show in themselves a good example of subordination. So I ask the question, does the country want generals, commanders, and others in authority figuring out what orders they're going to accept and do or not? Why or why not? I'm very interested to learn from your thoughts have a positive, constructive discussion about this topic so that we can all get smarter together. Thank you.